So we got a busy weekend planned out here in the forge. We have a set of doors to build to separate the forge from the rest of the barn. We have all this stuff here that we need to deal with, contend with. You can see over there, let's see, viewfinder, there we go, opposite day. So that bench that we did the anvil repair on a few years ago, I actually turned that into a mobile project bench and hopefully that will help keep the main workbench a little bit cleaner, a little bit neater. The idea is that if I have a bigger project like this lathe restoration, I'll be able to put it on this bench and roll it around the shop. Now that's going to make a big difference for keeping everything neat and clean and organized. And like I said, that bench we just built so nice and beautiful and pretty. I hate to, I hate to destroy it. So this video is going to be just about getting the forge area back in the service and ready to go. It's been a long time. It is time. doesn't do that justice tonight. What a view. Love the sunsets here.
This is quite an improvement, huh? This blacksmith shop is actually starting to feel like a blacksmith shop. And we have quite the echo in here, so we're definitely going to have to do some more insulating and things of that nature. But uh, our lighting is excellent now. We're separated from the rest of the building like I wanted. We have one full wall insulated. We have another one over there to do, and I have enough insulation board to do it. And we're actually, let me show you. Let me just show you. And we're actually getting stuff fairly cleaned up. I mean, we have our roll around project bench on casters. Now, obviously, we still have to hit this mess of a corner. But if we start walking over this way, Yes, the bench, like I predicted, is already a mess, but this is for me sorting stuff and all this stuff will have a home shortly. But our corner back here, we're actually getting cleaned up. We have more room in here than we've ever had. And of course, there's our plastic cheap rocking chair. So the parts washer, I think we're either gonna put it in that corner or it's gonna go out in the main barn. This old metal lathe, that's we're going to be starting that back up here very shortly. That's going to go over here along this wall, probably right close to the uh, workbench. The other metal lathe that we are, have coming, I may put it out over, over here. The milling machine is huge. That's going to be our big one. And that may end up being one of those middle of the floor right in here areas. I think I want to move the anvil back over into this area where we used to have it because I kind of like that better. I don't feel so cooped up. The gas forge, we're going to move somewhere in here. So maybe that milling machine might be better off maybe over there against that wall. And that would still leave me most of the floor open. And other really good news, that hunting club that we were cutting all last summer on, um, they invited us to join yesterday morning. So the boy and I, we are now members of that hunting club, so I can go up and mill timber whenever I want. It's going to be a great place to do a lot of filming, great place for sawmill stuff, just outdoors. It's paradise up there. If any of you were around for those videos, you'll see it was total paradise. And if you haven't checked it out, look at some of the old ones from last summer. It was beautiful. We didn't get a chance to get up here this summer simply because it was just so darn busy all the time with me working out of town, the farm work that had to be done. Everything suffered this summer, production-wise, everything. But coming into the time of year where I just start getting a lot of stuff done in the shop. So that's why the videos start picking up a little bit more. I would love to get back to the almost daily videos that we used to do. I just don't know if we're going to be able to and maintain quality content because I go through some of the older videos, and I'll be honest with you, some of them are, are kind of hard to watch. So we've gotten better with it. We've gotten better camera equipment. I've gotten better at speaking to the camera and talking to you guys and communicating in this platform and this, this type. And that's hard to do. We've been at it. It'll be six years towards the end of January. So I finally feel like we're making some progress out here in the shop now. We've built a lot of infrastructure. We've been very busy doing that kind of thing. But it's really starting to come together. The focus of this building when I built it was this blacksmith shop. It was with the idea that I wanted to make and sell tools for timber framing and log building and things of that nature. And I tell you what, we're just so close to it. I'm not promising anything because I notice I tend to overpromise and under deliver. So I'm not going to say when the show is going to get on the road, but let's just say we're getting in a really good spot to start making it happen. And I'm, I couldn't be happier with the tools we've built. Like I've said a couple videos ago, the 2x72 belt grinder. The 37 ton forge press, the ribbon burner forge, the coal forge, all this stuff that we've built, it's all leading up, it's all culminating to this point. It was the whole idea that I spoke about a couple of videos ago about infrastructure of your shop. Now, I've had enough stuff to where, okay, yeah, I can kind of chip away, I can do it the hard way, the long way, but you get tired of doing things the hard way. So my mind has always been, okay, I want this, 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 and this in place. That's what I want to make this happen. So I figured that if I went into doing this kind of thing before I had my infrastructure into place, things would be half-assed, it would be too hurried, 
and I'd be thinking too much about, okay, what tool can I make to make this better, more refined, and make me better at what I'm doing. Now, the tools don't make the man or the maker. The maker makes what he's making. Everything has to come from here, has to go to your hands through the tools. So you could have the best tools in the world and make piss poor stuff. We don't want to do that, but the tools for production wides, that's what we need, that's what we want. And that's what's going to help send us maybe to the next level as we get going. If I can hit the ground running, it's a lot easier to maintain momentum that way than it is having to struggle through everything, filing things by hand for days. You don't make any money that way. You have to have production, but you have to have quality. So anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. I apologize for the long outro here. Thank you for coming along, and I'll see you on the next one.